So yeah, the next part is about git, as I said, one will be we do some work and the next one will be git setup. And for git, I would recommend you that you use this tool here. It's very nice and you don't have to mess around with the command line. You can even do this in the command line if you like. But I think as a beginner, I would recommend this one. And yeah, you don't need a GitHub account or so. You can just do it locally. I will not, for example, push this project to a rep repository. I will just secure the work and basically yeah, document which step which we did after another after another. And to get Git working nicely with Unreal Engine, we need some files, some configuration, which is not that hard if you know how stuff works. So we go into the main folder and then we grab the Git gists from this one here. I set up them some time ago and we can say, I think if we go to raw view, we can say save link as course and we go into this folder and save it of course same for the git ignore file i will explain them in a few seconds why we use them and what are the use case of them so at first the git ignore file is basically just a text file and you can ignore file extensions like executables uh, libraries and so on. We don't need this stuff or stuff from Visual Studio. We will not need Visual Studio here, but just an, as an explanation. And it's derived from this link here. So the guy did an amazing work and I added some stuff which I need. So um, second one is the Git attributes. So here, this is very important. Otherwise you will, yeah, maybe mess up your Git repository, we need to in to say or configure for Git which files should be in, in LFS. So it's called large file system. If you want to read more about it, check out the link in the description below. Same for the tool, Git extensions. They will, will also post the link in the description. So check it out. What is um, very interesting for this is the U asset file because this is basically the blueprints and so on. And yeah, we will need this one. So let's hopefully see if this works. So normally the file is not called txt, it's called dot git attributes. So let's see if we can change it. Yes, same here, dot git ignore. It's basically from Linux. There are all files with a dot or folders are hidden. And now we can set up git. A git repository. So we go here, say new git repository. Let me move this one to here. Don't check this one. This one is more for servers. We will use personal re repository. Create. And we already have git repository. Super easy. <laughs> and then we can just commit the files. So this is basically this window here. And what I do in new repository is all the time commit those files at first. So you can do a uh, stage file or you can select them and then press the S key. That's what I did. So this basically means very easily explained, prepare the files for the commit. So we have there some, yeah, some multiple stages or steps we have to go through. These are new files. These ones here, that's why they have a green plus. And then we can add them. Comparing for commits, we can also um create yeah files line by a uh, commit line wise which we will not do but we just commit the entire files so and i call this message always initial uh, git setup so then you click on commit and bam your first commit very easy so how can i see what i've committed that's very easy in, with with this tool, just go to git extension, open repository. It's the right click here. Then we open it. And here we have the history. So here we see very nice picture from me. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I think this is um, from Windows. And 
here you see initial git setup. That's the message I wrote down several seconds ago. And here you can go to diff and then see what have changed. So git always saves the delta for us. And the nice thing is now we can go always back to this commit and revert all the other files, which we hopefully not have to do in the series. But as I said, I want to explain a little bit my workflow and that's how I work with Git and Unreal Engine. So here I press Control A and S to stage all files. And I say initial, no, I say like this, introduce ALS version four, commit. Don't click on push as you have now set up, if you have not set up remote, that is when we want to publish our stuff, for example, on Git or uh, GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket or I don't know, any, any Git, Git service server structure. But for here, it's totally fine to use it locally. So as you see, we have no files left and there are no, basically, there are no files left and that's already the end of the series. So I would highly recommend you start using Git for your Unreal Engine projects because for me it saved already a lot of time and effort so that, that I don't have to redo stuff. And see you in the next part.